Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo here. Welcome back everyone. So today is day six of Hallow Week, our week-long series where I'm sharing with you guys a different Halloween-themed DIY. So let's go ahead and turn the camera around to show you what we're making today. Today's project on day six of Halloween is a little witch's broom. It stands up all by itself, and I think you guys will be surprised to see why. It's actually a toilet plunger from the Dollar Tree. Let me show you guys what we're going to need to make this cute little stand-up broom. So what you'll need for this project is a good old-fashioned toilet plunger from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some loose raffia. They do sell this in packs of three at the Dollar Tree, a rubber band, some hot glue, some black spray paint, or really you could paint this with craft paint and a brush, doesn't really matter. For time's sake, I'm using spray paint. And I'm gonna use some orange grosgrain ribbon. You can choose any sort of ribbon to accent. And then a larger ribbon for our bow and some scissors. And that's all you'll need to make this little project. All right, guys, we're outside. I'm just gonna go ahead and give our plunger a good old spray paint of black paint. And that's all there is to making this fun little stand-up broom. The kids really thought it was cute. I really like it. And the hardest part was just wrangling all that raffia. I had quite a bit of cleanup when I was done. Hmm, I think we need another project, guys. What do you think? Bonus project! So today's bonus feature are these fun little bottles. So I've been holding on to different jars and bottles around the house to give them a remake for Halloween. So these little poisons and potions will be our bonus feature to go along with our standing broom. Let me show you guys what you'll need to do this little project. What you'll need for this project is little pack of spiders, creatures, anything that's spooky, a little bit of twine, your hot glue gun. I'm gonna be using black spray paint, but you could use black paint or different colors if you like. I've been saving empty jars as we finish them from the refrigerator. Don't go out and buy anything. Just think of whether or not you're running low on something, maybe spaghetti sauce, maybe jelly, and just hold on to that glass jar so that you can reuse it. 
I know that the little Frappuccino bottles would work well for this as well. Now I picked up this pack of stickers, which is gonna make this project super easy. These were from the 99 cents only store. Now the Dollar Tree does sell little labels that don't have anything on them. They're just white that you could definitely go ahead and label as your own potions and mixtures. Um, or I'm sure you could probably find something like this at Michael's. I did pull out my creepy cloth. I'm not sure which color I'm gonna use. And um, just to accent, I got out my Spanish moss. So that is everything I'm gonna have on hand to go ahead and start this fun little project. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and spray paint all of our jars. I've taken off most, like 90% of all of the labels. That was the hardest part of this job. And this one has just a little bit left. I just can't get that portion off. So I'm probably gonna put my sticker on top of that. So let's go ahead and get to painting. And that's all there is to it. These were so simple to make. The hardest part was really removing the labels. I really hope you guys enjoyed this day six of Halloween, our week long series of Halloween DIYs of our potions and poisons and our standing broom. Come on back tomorrow and join me for day seven.